Welcome to another Super Sharp Gamer production. Today we try to achieve a clean sharp look and a wider field of view in Capcom's 2020 Resident Evil 3 Remake. Just like in RE2 Remake there are several ways to achieve this, but this method I introduce in this video is my preferred method because it doesn't require any mods, even though that might be a preferable way for some users if you don't want to run a trainer program. That's why it's very important you download this only from the Nexus Mods website and nowhere else. That's the best chance you get a virus-free file. I don't take any responsibility if you wreck your computer and the consequences that might have. You have been warned and continue at your own risk. As always, when trying to achieve a sharp clean look. The first thing is to set your game to your display's native fixed resolution which in my case is 1440p. Rendering mode is normal and the image quality is set to 100% to avoid any upscaling artifacts. The anti-aliasing I prefer to set to SMAA. TAA settings can make your game look cleaner at first glance, but it also makes the game blurry unnecessarily. But if you prefer the look, go ahead. I use SMAA in this footage. And as always, make sure you turn off all the awful post-process effects like motion blur, depth of field, and lens distortion that have no business being in a video game, especially during the gameplay. Now, turn your attention to the RE3 or trainer you downloaded and extracted on your computer. You can run it from that location, and it should recognize your game installation automatically. Yes, you'll launch the game via this program from now on if you want to use it. This works just the same as the RE2 or trainer we used in the previous video. So, I don't go as much into detail here. Watch the previous video to learn more. Link in the description and the end of the video. My settings are exactly the same here in the character tab. The camera offset is set to plus 20 and the camera height offset is set to negative 20. From the miscellaneous tab, I have no vignette set to on, which disables the ugly vignetting in the game. I have also enabled the Fix Artifacts option, which I failed to mention last time, but you could still see that in the video. Also on this tab, I have turned on No Sharpening, to avoid any artificial sharpening. And of course, just like in Resident Evil 2, the camera and vignetting settings made here affect the in-engine cutscenes in the game as well. So, if you don't like it, you shouldn't make these changes and I recommend you to experience the story first with the game's default FOV and vignetting settings. These are meant to improve the actual gameplay experience. You can tweak all kinds of things and settings with this trainer program, and I encourage you to experiment with it. You can save your settings and load them later. If you don't want to use them at all, just don't run the program, and the game starts without any tweaks you made here. As always, if you found this video helpful or otherwise interesting or entertaining, I'd appreciate it if you push the like button for me. It helps tremendously. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.